Thomas Tuchel's Chelsea, winners of the 2020-2021 Champions League, was a team built on defensive solidity, tactical versatility, and collective organization. Qualities that enabled them to overcome top-level opponents and achieve European glory. Tuchel, who took over from Frank Lampard in January 2021, immediately implemented a playing structure based primarily on a three-man defense, with the 3-4-2-1 or 3-4-3 being the main formations. The primary goal of this setup was to ensure defensive stability while also creating fluidity in transitions, using the speed and technical quality of the wingbacks and forwards to punish opponents on the counterattack. The goalkeeper's role was role was crushing the defensive solidity that characterized the team. Mendy, in goal, was not only reliable in making saves, but also essential in playing with his feet, a key quality for Tuchel's system, which required the goalkeeper to be involved in building from the back. His ability to distribute the ball accurately, both in short passes to the central defenders and in long balls to initiate counterattacks, improved Chelsea's efficiency in transition. Focusing on the defensive line, Tuchel relied on three solid and disciplined central defenders, typically Antonio Rudiger, Thiago Silva, and Cesar Aspilicueta. These players not only excelled in defending their penalty area, but were also fundamental in building play from the back. Thiago Silva, in particular, brought vast experience and game-reading ability, guiding the defense and providing leadership at crucial moments. Rudiger, with his physicality and aggression, offered protection against faster and more powerful attackers, while Aspilicueta provided tactical versatility, being able to cover wide roles when needed. The wingbacks, referred to as fullbacks in the defensive phase, were crucial to Tuchel's system. Reese James on the right and Ben Chilwell or Marcos Alonso on the left were the players most involved in offensive transitions, while also ensuring defensive cover on the flanks. James, in particular, was instrumental due to his combination of physical strength and precision in crossing, while Chilwell, more dynamic and technical than Alonso, offered greater incisiveness with his offensive runs. The midfield was anchored by Nigolo Conte and Jorginho, two players with very different but complementary attributes. Conte was the team's relentless engine, vital in ball recovery and defensive transitions, covering large portions of the field and breaking up opponents' play. Jorginho, on the other hand, was the team's brain, orchestrating the play with precise passes and his ability to dictate the tempo of the game. Their synergy allowed Chelsea to be defensively solid while also being dangerous in possession. In attack, Tuchel gave significant freedom to the two attacking midfielders, often positioned behind the central striker. Mason Mount, one of Chelsea's key players during that season, was an attacking midfielder with incredible versatility. He was able to play between the lines, press opponents high, and create chances with incisive passes and dribbling. Kai Havertz, who was often used in this position, showcased his talent with intelligent movement and an ability to exploit spaces. Christian Pulisic, Timo Werner, and Hakim Ziyech also rotated in this role, offering offensive variety and depth. The lone central striker, usually Timo Werner or Olivier Giroud, had a very specific role in Tuchel's system. Werner, despite not being particularly prolific in front of goal, was crucial for his runs in behind and his pressing on opponents, opening up spaces for teammates and creating confusion in the opposing defenses. Giroud, on the other hand, provided a more static physical presence, but was very useful when Chelsea needed a fixed reference point in the penalty area. Tuchel's Chelsea playing style was based on intense, high pressing, aiming to quickly recover the ball and exploit offensive transitions. No quick thinking to win it back. The team was incredibly tactically disciplined, Must with every out. player having clearly defined roles both in possession and out of possession. Quick transitions were one of the team's most effective weapons, with the ability to swiftly switch from defense to attack, utilizing the wing backs and attacking midfielders to create numerical superiority. Tactical well, fluidity was another key Preston aspect North of Tuchel's Chelsea. 11. The well, team could shape, quickly adapt to different game situations, shifting from a 3-4-2-1 to a 5-3-2 or 5-2-3 in the defensive phase, the with the wing backs dropping back to form a back five when necessary. In summer, today. Thomas Tuchel's Chelsea was a tactically organized team, defensively solid, and capable of adapting to different game situations. 
the combination of pressing, speed in transitions, and tactical discipline made Chelsea one of the toughest teams to face in Europe, culminating in their Champions League triumph with a brilliant and mature